Hey, hey, party people! Thank you all very much for joining me on another episode of Fifi Plays Yuppie Psycho. And <laughs> I love how weird this game is. I think it might be in my top five weirdest games that I have ever played in my life. And I am so happy that I found... Like, it's such a an original concept. Like, I have never seen a game with a plot like this ever. So it's it's really cool. I highly recommend you all checking it out. I got it from Steam, so if you wanna... If you're interested in what I've been playing so far, feel free to check it out. But anyway, we have just gotten a new power that allows us to go through poison gas, which will really help us out on the fourth floor, which is our next destination to get closer to killing the witch. So let's just get into it, shall we? Okay, so here we are on the fourth floor. And I think I'm going to avoid that for now because there was another area down this way that I really wanted to check out. And we couldn't get to it before, so... Got some batteries. Pencils are always good. And another ink cartridge. Perfect. Alright. Okay, let's keep going this way. See what we can find. Hunter. That's me, alright. Ooh, a new item. It's a note. I shouldn't get too close to the witch's cauldron. It seems to emanate an ancient resentment. If I want to explore further, I will do so from here and carry the dagger with me for protection. But I should start storing things in the hidden floor. I'll leave the tadpole out of it. I don't want anything to happen to him. Signed, RC, November 1989. Aha! I got another illustration. Still don't know the significance of those things, but... Maybe I'll figure it out one time. One day. Okay, nothing there. What's this? Looks like a house made of cubicles. I mean, I guess we could go in. Hello, friend. <clears throat> you look friendly. Mr. S Sweary. Hey, amigo. Welcome to my office. I like your monkey. My name is Sweary. H Hello, my name is Brian. How are you, Brian? How's life? Could be better. <laughs> Hey, is this a bar? Are you selling alcohol at work? This? You mean my office? No, of course not. It's just a regular office cubicle. Why do you say that? Well, because of the bar, the bottles of alcohol, and the music. You're even drinking a pitcher of beer right now! Dots. No, this isn't beer. It's... It's... Pee! That's much worse. <laughs> just kidding, amigo. Tequiero. You got us. We turned my cubicle into a bar. We couldn't stand corporate work or that stench out there. This was our way out. You mean you and that monkey? Yeah, sorry, I haven't introduced you. This is Sharapova. She gives me a hand pouring beers and is the only one who remembers the cocktail measurements. Dots. But tell us, what brings you here? It's my first day and I'm exploring the building. The first or the fourth floor is huge. You must be tired. Do you want a drink? A bit of a chat? I'll give you a penny for your thoughts. Thanks, but I'd rather not drink alcohol. It doesn't sit too well with me. Oh, right. You're underage. No, I'm not. It's just we're on the clock, and this company is full of monsters, so I need to be on high alert all the time. That's right. This company is cursed. Do you know Forrest Kaysen's number theory? Forrest Kaysen? I can tell you, but you have to- you first have to have a drink. See that soda machine? I've rigged it to be cheaper than the regular ones. Every time you buy a soda, I'll tell you more about Forrest Kaysen and his number. Theory. Uh, I guess I could do it. I don't have enough money. I guess I gotta go sell some stuff. Okay, I'm back. Guess I'll buy one. Don't really have a choice. I guess you've noticed strange things happening in this building. I think I have a clue as to what's going on. It all comes from the numbers. Numbers? 
Forrest Kaysen was a well-known American philosopher and mathematician in the 1960s. After returning from the war, he published a single book called The Mystery of Numbers. In it, he explained that numbers exert a force on the material world. Like, they're magic? Numbers that are good or bad luck? Sorta. He said that each number is a symbol, and intrinsically carries hidden forces to the human being, which have shaped the history of humanity from almost its beginning. Ford's case and theories were so groundbreaking that academics across the country publicly ridiculed him. After months of being locked up in his house, he was found dead hanging in his office. Next to him was a mysterious note. And what did the note say? Nothing. There were no words. Just a list of numbers. I happen to have a copy of his book, and I think this building is being heavily influenced by the numbers. Pick a number and I'll tell you what it means. Uh, okay, I guess we'll go with ten. Ten is the number of paradise. Unlike zero, it represents complete fullness. Ten is a white number saturated with light. It is the number of the golden age of glory. The ten is the hero who has already won, and so even if it doesn't know it, it's a lonely number. One that has nothing. One that has achieved everything and has everything within its reach. I thought it would be a better number. Ten, for all its superficial fame, is a number full of memories and melancholy on the inside. Cool, I'm getting out of here. <laughs> I'm not gonna go through every single number. Maybe if it's important, I'll come back. Hey, can you back off, maybe? I don't think they can see you if, they're, if their back is turned. Okay, cool. I just have to be patient. I'll get back eventually. Alright, let's go back this way because clearly that's where the game wants us to go. Any more briefcases? Ah, nice! Okay, right. This was the pushing things around. Okay, so first of all, let's move this down. Obviously, I need to get in here for some reason. Hmm. <laughs> ah! A zombie! Uh, gibberish. Oh no, I'm out! Hello? Are you good? Okay, I guess I'll leave then. Oh my god, there's zombies everywhere! Shoot! They're harmless. <laughs> That's a relief. Can I explode them? Nope. <gasps> Glow sticks? Cool. One used stick that provides colored light for a long time. It can be left on the floor. Interesting. I have enough to go make a, a sandwich. Maybe I'll go do that and come back. And you know what? I'll just I'll just drink my coke and then come back. Um. Okay. Excuse me. Ah. I see. So stay behind the monsters at all times. <laughs> Please get out of my way. Mm -hmm. 
Several dots painted with blood. Fascinating. Oh gosh. These things are gonna attack me again. Maybe I'll just eat a single piece of cheese. No! Okay, I gotta come back. This sucks. Aha, there we go. Ah! Well, what am I supposed to do in this situation, huh? Oh. They're on a, a path. They're patrolling, if you will. Get out of my way! I guess it was a necessary sacrifice. Important to save every 20 minutes. Is that a duck? Oh, that's not the sound a frog makes. Ah, what are you doing? <gasps> you trapped me, you prick! Hey, you! <sighs> the nerve. Oh, boy. Hmm. Some kind of giant printer. Maybe I have to. Oh, shoot. Hmm. He moved! There are several wires that lead all the way here. It has to be a way out. Hmm. If only I could get the right button. Because everyone's removed their buttons, so... It's very strange up in here. Uh, oh. Hmm. You can't spit through walls. That's not fair. Right? You look green! Cough, cough, cough. The, the poison! Oh my goodness, what do I do? I don't have any more anti-gas papers! Don't, don't run, don't run. What do, what do you mean? Uh, okay, hang in there, Kate. I'll find a way out. Uh, but first, I'm gonna hide. Because well, it said, she said don't run, right? So... I mean, I'm inclined to listen to her. Ah! Well, what am 
I supposed to do then, Kate? Oh my god. Maybe I need to go back to the printer? Oh god. Oh god! Well, there's the button, so I have to figure out a way to get around it to go press the button. I'm not running, I'm not running, I'm not running. I've got a push button. It's one of those buttons to move the cubicles. Okay. I'm doing this right. Shoot. Well, is it anyone then? Nope. Seriously, I gotta go through each and every single one of them. This is really tense. Oh boy. Yay, I did it! Nice. Okay, now I just I'll be okay. Oh boy. Running really does make it angry. Don't run, don't run, don't run, don't run, don't run. Don't run, don't run. Oh god. Uh, it moved a little, but it's still blocking the path? Are you serious? I have to do all of it? Oh no. Okay. It's fine. I just hope it doesn't reset after every time I do it. Ah! I feel like it's coming. I can't see it. Oh god. Ah! No! Seriously? You creepy creep. You're ugly. I think I've already opened a way out. Oh, great! Now I just gotta be careful not to get eaten. I don't see it. Ah! Okay, okay, okay. I don't like this at all! Oh, boy. No, keep going to the left. Keep going to the left. Go on. Get out of here. Keep going. Nobody wants you around. Thank you. Okay. Now I gotta go get Cage. Careful not to run.
Okay. I have to play it safe. Okay, here we go. Kate, let's go! But you already know! You just said you have a way out! Okay. I don't know if I'm safe yet. The poison's much thicker here. I swear, it's coming out of that cave? Oh boy! It looks like a fort of broken office supplies. Better go back and find another way. That's the only way you gotta go, little bitch. Time to go. Good thing you have your gas mask paperwork. Yuck. The stench in here is unbearable. And that thing. <laughs> what have I gotten myself into? Nothing good, Bry. Nothing good. S Sosa was right. The company is rotten inside. <gasps> Ew. Oh boy, this is really a bad situation. <laughs> Wake up, Brian. I'm on the beach! Don't you think the sea is mysterious? Oh, it's Sintra! Too bad I'm dead. Just kidding. Oh, nice. Lovely. My favorite vacation spot. Fortunately, that stupid hand printer caught us. Uh, broke my fall. There's poison everywhere. Wait, what am I standing on? It's one of those things. And Kate's still in there. She can't hold out much longer breathing that poison. I, I have to get out of here as quickly as possible. I tried the buttons, but nothing works. Hmm. Do I have any items? Aha! Oh man, I thought that would, that would work for sure. Can't you jump? Can you jump, Brian? Aha! Let's see what happens if I mess with some circuits around here. Something's changed. Some of the buttons have lit up. Great. Clean. I guess we could try clean. Stomach on the body looks like a basketball, it's so swollen. Yuck. And worst of all, it's blocking the stairs. manual for a dot matrix printer. So I have to use this then? Let's see what this thing does if I ink it up a bit. You use the ink cartridge. A button is lit up. Aha. Well, this is gonna be disgusting.
looking nasty. We did it! Hooray! If this is the source of poisonous gas, there must be some way to drain the water. Oh good, it's moving on its own now. Is there anything out here or around here that I could use? What's this? All right, we did it! No more poison water, hopefully. And by poison water, I mean poison gas. I have to get back to Kate and see if she's okay. Well, now that we don't have that printer thing chasing us. What's this? <laughs> yeah, well, you can't walk through the the pa Is this a good idea? I don't think that printer thing is out of commission just yet. But I guess I could try. There's something shiny in his pocket. It's an ID card that looks like mine. But this one's metallic. I wonder who R. Corvo was. Okay. I'm just gonna check in this car- in this thingy. Oh, okay. I thought I could check the- the drawers, but I guess not. That's okay, now we got a specialized ID card. Which is super fancy. Oh god, where am I? Is this where the initiation is? It is, but the room just got bigger. Residences. Hello? Um, okay, I feel like I should save. At some point. Ah, hmm. oh, nice. This is so creepy. So wait, you're telling me that there was this whole big room the whole time? Why did I think it was just a tiny little room that I was in last time? Kate! <coughs> you're okay! <coughs> Why does this make me feel like you're the witch, though? I'm starting to get my suspicions. Kate, are you alright? Oh, hi, Brian. I was going to get some air. I feel a little dizzy. Wait, come with me to the fifth floor. It's safer. How are you feeling? I'm doing much better. Thank you, Brian. I breathed in some of that green gas, but it's nothing, really. I'm sorry if it's none of my business, but why did you go into such a dangerous place? I got a call from my boss telling me that I had to take some photocopies there. I thought I could do it by holding my breath, but when I realized I was starting to get dizzy... Your boss, hmm? Did he say his name? Uh, I, I don't think so. Why do you ask? It's nothing, it's nothing. Don't worry about it. The important thing is that you're okay. Dots. Aw, oh, she's crying. Is, is something wrong? Nothing. It's just that I can't believe I left my work unfinished. What do you mean? I'm incompetent, Brian. I'm not up to the level of this job. Kate, don't say that. I'm worthless. I should have prepared a lot more and... Kate, stop for one second, please. Listen to me. Dots. It's not your fault. But, no buts, Kate. This company is sick, and it has nothing to do with you. It's been like this for years. It is a bit of a weird company, but what do you mean it's sick? Well, it's, there's something, there's, it's something very bad that's corrupting everything and everyone. I don't think I understand you. Well, well, that's too bad, because I can't explain. Don't 
Tell her, Brian, if you tell her you're a hunter, I swear to God. Kate, yes. Let's get out of here. What? Let's quit this damn job. But Brian, you already know that I'm just a village boy, and maybe I'm not very cool or fashionable once you put me in the capital. But I can assure you of one thing. There's got to be something better than this for the both of us. Especially for you, Kate, with all the studying you've done. To tell you the truth, I had a dozen offers in, ad in addition to Syndracor. Maybe... Maybe it's not such a bad idea. Of course, so let's get... So let's have that coffee you promised me, but outside of this madhouse. And then she's gonna die. Oh, you know what? You're absolutely right. We don't have to put up with all these freaks. We deserve a better place than this. Let's go get that coffee. <coughs> Parsnip. Of course. Don't you have anything better to do? And why is your horse so gigantic? It's like a moose. <sighs> okay, what do you got? What do you want? Bravo, Parsnip. Bravo. I knew that deep down in this flaccid, bent body there was a real man. A Spartan warrior. A, conquist a conquistador. Uh, what do you mean? That poisonous stench. The green gas that flooded part of the building. The whole company is talking about the same thing. How the fifth floor rookie confronted the dot matrix and put an end to that nasty pestilence. Ah, uh, well... Is that true? No, but I just... <laughs> Don't be so modest, Parsnip. You must know that I've appointed you Employee of the Month as of today. Uh-oh, Hugo's not going to be very happy about that. Forgive my terrible manners, miss. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is... Wait, wait, wait. Thanks, but no. Sacre bleu! We're leaving the company right now. <laughs> You're a first-rate prankster, Parsnip. Leave your first job on the first day? It's only been one day? Holy crap! With how difficult it is to find work in the capital? Such an indelible... Indelible blot on your resume. Dots. It'd be like wearing shit on your face for the rest of your life! <laughs> Dots. Oh, great. Now Kate's gonna reconsider. What the hell do you want, Data? Or Data? Data has asked me to look... Or, Data has asked me to tell you that he does not overlook your progress with the task entrusted to you. Dots. You're a model employee. Keep it up, Parsnip. Well, why do you keep condescending me then, you jerk? Don't listen to that guy. He's out of his mind. Dots. Come on, shall we go? Hold on, Brian. He's got a point. Who, that fool? Leaving on the first day of work would be a mark against us for the rest of our lives. Not to mention that we'd have left one of the best companies in the world. But, but Kate, it's too dangerous to stay. You saw for yourself. You're a good partner, Brian, and I know you'd do it for me. But I have to prove myself that I can also be the employee of the month. What? No, 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 no. I'm a hillbilly, Kate. Really? Let's get out of this place. I'll make you a deal. We think about it until the end of the day, and then we decide. Well, I mean, that is fair. But you're probably going to die before then, so... Is it really worth it, Kate? And hey, we can still get that coffee, right? What do you say we meet in the canteen later? Okay. You're going to be dead by then, but sure. Whatever, Kate. You made your bed, now lie in it. Oh, I'm back. Uh, what was that noise? Ha-ha! <laughs> My face is on the thing. Now I am employee of the month. And that seems like a perfect way to end this episode. I am so successful. Even though this company is batshit insane. Uh, but anyways, uh, I don't know... Now that that's all over and done with, we have to figure out what to do with this card. Insert into Cintranet. Okay, cool. Well, I'll start that up in the next episode. And we still need to figure out what this is for. Electronic pieces. They're matte red on one side. So we have to keep an eye out for a broken electronic. I gotta make up my coffee and my noodles. And we have to go back into Cintranet. Um, so that's gonna be the plan of action for the next episode. And I'm sure that it will lead us into a whole flurry more of ridiculous circumstances. So thank you very much for watching this episode. And I hope you all enjoyed. And I hope to see you all in the next episode. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Mwah!